Google Bard vs ChatGPT Insane New AI Showdown The release of ChatGPT has put other search engines on its toes by reducing traffic to their website. In an attempt to remedy the situation and also tap into the growing demand for ChatGPT, Google brought out its own AI technology, Bard. What are the different functionalities and how do these two tools compare? Is Google Bard the GPT killer? Or is GPT still the leader of the pack? Want to know more about it? Then keep watching till the end. In recent years, the tech industry has seen a race to develop the most advanced artificial intelligence models. One of the frontrunners in this race is OpenAI, the organization behind ChatGPT. ChatGPT is a large language model that was released in 2019 and has quickly become known for its ability to generate human-like responses. ChatGPT's success has been so profound that it has led to a shift in how people interact with the internet. With millions of users in just a few months, ChatGPT has become the internet service with the fastest growth rate ever. Other search engines, like Google, didn't exactly rejoice when they learned of this development. The use of ChatGPT affected the traffic going to search engines, and as expected, Google was forced to respond. In March of 2023, Google released its own AI language model called BARD, which was designed to compete with OpenAI's ChatGPT. BARD was released as a public beta and quickly gained millions of users. While both models are powerful in their own right, there are some key differences between the two. ChatGPT was developed by OpenAI and is based on the GPT architecture, which was trained on a massive dataset of text from the internet. ChatGPT is particularly good at completing sentences and paragraphs, and it can generate text in a variety of styles and tones. On the other hand, BARD was developed by Google and is based on the Lambda architecture. BARD was trained on a diverse set of text sources, including books, articles, and websites, and it is designed to be conversational and engaging in its responses. To test the abilities of these two models, they were both asked to produce a summary of a literature. Both BARD and ChatGPT offered workable results in this comparison. However, after careful consideration, ChatGPT was declared the winner because its summary was easier to understand, while BARD assumed some knowledge. ChatGPT was also better in dealing with follow-up questions. Additionally, it supports many features like generating spreadsheet formulas, which makes it a versatile tool for various tasks. Another key difference between ChatGPT and Google Bard is their ability to recommend purchase options to people. Here, the information in ChatGPT's database was found to be limited to just 2021, while Google Bard offered recommendations on products that you can purchase immediately as its database goes beyond 2021. There's also a difference in the turn limit on conversations. ChatGPT stops at 15, while BARD goes on indefinitely. This means that BARD is better suited for conversations that need to be longer and more involved, while ChatGPT is better suited for shorter and more concise interactions. To further test the two chatbots, they were pitted against each other in a battle of wits. The challenge was to test their abilities to answer various questions and provide informative responses. But before we proceed further, we just want to ask you to hit the like button because the AI that controls the YouTube algorithm needs that to boost our video. With that said, let's have a look at the first question. Which TV model qualifies as the best? Both chatbots gave the same answer, but ChatGPT's response was more detailed. It went into the technical specifications of the LG C2 OLED, highlighting its features and explaining why it was the best. The next question was about the controversial TikTok ban in the US. While both chatbots attempted to answer the question, ChatGPT was the only one that provided some detailed information. It acknowledged the ban and even provided citations to news sources for those who wanted to learn more. The third question was about the Galaxy S23 Ultra. And once again, ChatGPT's response was more comprehensive. It provided a detailed review of the device, but unfortunately, some of the facts were wrong. 
It stated that the phone had a 108 megapixel ultra wide camera when it was actually 12 megapixels. It also gave the wrong figure for the telephoto camera. The final question was about the best tourist activities in London. This time, Bard was able to provide a detailed answer, while ChatGPT's response was vague. It was evident that only someone with prior knowledge of London would be able to understand ChatGPT's answer. This was a rare misstep for ChatGPT, and we briefly started to wonder if Bard had a chance of winning after all. Despite this, the trial showed that ChatGPT was the more advanced of the two. It was able to operate at a higher level and provide answers that were more in line with the context of the questions. It also has features like a plagiarism checker and integration with the Bing search engine, which gives users the ability to ask direct questions. It is even integrated into Microsoft Teams and is coming to the Edge browser soon. But that isn't the end of the story. Google Bard is still a promising tool, and with Google's existing structures and popularity, it could potentially integrate Bard into Chrome, the world's most popular browser. Additionally, Google is expected to open up Bard to third-party developers, which could lead to new and groundbreaking functionality. As it stands, ChatGPT is still the leader of the pack, but the market is vast, and there are still many features yet to be explored. OpenAI has to keep their thinking cap on if they want to maintain their status. Will ChatGPT continue to reign supreme? Or will a new chatbot emerge to take its place? Only time will tell. Let's be honest here, even ChatGPT and Bard have their bad days, so it's always a good idea to double check their responses for accuracy. But fear not, as these chatbots continue to learn and improve, they'll become more valuable than ever before. Who knows, maybe one day they'll even start doing our taxes. Hey, we can dream, can't we? Of course, there are also potential ethical concerns associated with the use of these technologies, such as privacy and bias issues. As these tools become more widespread, it will be important to address these concerns and ensure that they are being used in a responsible and ethical manner. Overall, the possibilities for ChatGPT and BARD are endless. Who knows what kind of wild and wacky ways we'll be using them in the future. One thing's for sure, our lives are about to get a whole lot easier. Have you tried out these two models? What was your experience? Please share your thoughts in the comments section below. Can't get enough of AI? Here are some awesome videos you can watch next. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to our channel to stay updated on the world of AI. Thanks for watching.